It's funny as you look back at your life and you're like, wow, life looks so different then. And then... But life... we were the same us. Oh yeah, totally. Hey you guys. I know we're supposed to say good morning, but after six years, sometimes I want to mix it up a bit. Peter just finished making, I started making like fajitas, right? So peppers and onions, and we usually put some purple cabbage on and cheese and sour cream and some pulled pork. But um, I've just been feeling this weird, like kind of weak feeling. It's almost like my blood sugar's low, which sometimes it is when my blood sugar's low. So that's understandable. But um, anyway, I was trying to make it and Peter's like, let me do that. So he just finished, we're gonna eat some delicious lunch and I think he's gonna mow the grass today. Ah! I'm so excited. I just went out there and took a video on my phone of like panning the grass because we are so excited about it. And update on the hummingbirds. They've been visiting like all day. All day, every day. We're so excited. We're like over the roof, over the moon and through the roof. Excited. Well, up we go into the working room to meet where Peter is. To I meet love... Peter at the office. <laughs> I love how Ollie just came right next to you as he came up the stairs. Yeah, that's a pretty common sight. Wherever we go in the house, Ollie comes with us. Yep. So Peter and I are just working on a few future design things. And um, one of the things you'll see in this footage of us up in the working room is you'll see some of our processes. So like right now, that little printer is shooting out mailing labels with their little packing slips. And then I come and I rip them off and I take them over to my desk and then I have my processes, what I do. I rip them apart into individual labels. Let's just stop here and say Mary loves processing things. <laughs> Whether it's in the kitchen or the working room or wherever she is, she likes to create processes. Yeah, so meaning if I had a bag of carrots that I needed to work with in the kitchen, you wash them, you, what's the word, not shave, I always peel call it, them. peel them. <laughs> Don't forget to shave your carrots. Um, you peel them, you chop them, you know, whatever. I love processing. So up in the working room, oh, it looks like I'm going between processing orders, weeding, which is what it means when you take one of those decals and take the excess off. So then it's just the decal that's left. Weeding through that. Um, yeah, so if you guys didn't know this, we create our wall decals. We have an art printer that prints on art paper, and we, we, as we've run the store, we've come to develop a lot of processes that have worked well for us. And a few times we've had, like a couple of years ago, we had somebody who was gonna help us with some of the store stuff, um, particularly when my health was declining and I was having trouble keeping up with everything. And so I was trying to explain all of our processes to her and she was awesome to try to keep up with us. But I realized like we have a million different like little clear plastic baggies that work for different sizes of prints. And I was like, okay, so this one is four five by sevens. And we created our process to work well for the two of us, let's yes. just say that. Yes. It was a monumental day for us because it was time to mow the newly grown grass. So you can see me here coming to the backyard, clearing out the hose so I don't chop it up in the mower. And it was, okay, we've had rain for like the last, this how is long? so cute. There you <laughs> go in your fast motion. <laughs> how long have we had rain? Like Oh, it was a week. And it I was think it was a week solid. A week solid of like torrential downpour. So like our grass has gotten really high and much quicker than we anticipated. Which but, is a good thing. But this was today was like one of the only breaks in the rain for like another week. And so I wanted to get the lawn mowed. <laughs> You can see there, I, whenever I turned the mower, it was creating a little bit of ripping of the grass. So I was like trying to put the grass back in place. It was a little more difficult yesterday, but I knew I needed to get it done before more rain comes. So 
So here I am just snuggling with the animals um, in the afternoon when I just wasn't feeling great. Well, welcome back to <laughs> the day. So Peter finished mowing and I continued to really not feel well this afternoon so I've just been resting and Peter made, I started the rice but I didn't know what we were gonna do with it. And he came up with the idea to do egg fried rice. Mm -hmm. So there's some mm -hmm. egg and veggies and rice and it looks great. I think we're gonna put some purple cabbage on it and have some seltzer water and call it a summer night. Sounds amazing. Look at how beautiful purple cabbage is. It's a great garnish. It's beautiful. After dinner, we all three got up and before I had turned the camera on, all three of us were having this really fun snuggle and there was a lot of tail wagging and it was just really precious. So I'm glad I caught even just a little glimpse of it. And now we sat at the table and we had coffee and what we call coffee and crumpets, which tonight was some famous Amos cookies. <laughs> but crumpets in our term, like coffee and crumpets, is just anything you eat with coffee. So it could be crackers or toast or cookies. And now Mary started telling me how she <laughs> thinks she should style my hair. I thought it would be funny to try to style his hair like with gel or something. You can see the look on his face. It's like, uh-uh, <laughs> no, no. It basically just looks like I'm a monkey grooming my little monkey friend. Welcome back. We are sitting on our deck. Whoa, what is this? What? Does this look real? Are <laughs> you weird? You're like neck muscles? I don't know what that is. Just flexing my neck for the camera. <laughs> okay, anyway, we've been discussing chocolate chip cookies and we've been eating some little crunchy cookies and we're discussing when you bake cookies, when you bake chocolate chip cookies, how do you like them? Yeah, I like them chewier than crispier. Now here's a question. Yeah. There's the flat and not crispy, but flat and chewy, flexible. Yeah. Or there's the like piled up like a, like an ice cream scoop, like that kind of cookie. Yeah, I like both. Mm -hmm. Those are two different categories yes, for me. Yes, me too. But I do like the like pile, the like thicker, almost like biscuitier. Yes. Is Do that yeah. A doughier. I, but I yeah, you're right. Biscuity is better. Better uh, verb, or is that? The but right? yeah. I don't know. I, I do like those, but the thin, gooey. You like the thin one, or like? I do too. Basically, if you get like Toll House dough, scoop it, <laughs> put it on a thing, and bake it, yeah. and it like goes down, yeah. and you take it out before it's done. That's good. And the only recipe I've ever done is the Toll House recipe, not from the tub or the chunks. Mm. I I was just thinking about this. That's funny that we're talking about this. I was thinking about how in college I would make cookies before like a crossroads retreat or something. Oh really? And I started making the dough and not putting the chocolate chips in it. So I'd make the dough and then roll out little tiny scoops or balls, whatever, like make tiny little cookies like this big mm -hmm. and put one chocolate chip on top. And they were like little, ooh, I kind of want to make those. Appetizers. Now. I, maybe, we've like never like baked desserts besides like brownies. Yes, and we've. <laughs> and, and pies, <laughs> pies. Oh yes, you used to bake apple pies. I used to bake like a pie a week. You, you were good. So we lived with this older man. We helped take care of his, grounds, is that the word, like groundskeeper, yeah. and also helped grocery shop and meal, we made meals for him. Mm. And we lived in his basement, and um, this was like... 2012. Okay. Eight years ago. There you go. And Peter, so... Oh wait, was it, it was 2011. Yeah. 2011, wow. Yeah. Or, er, yeah, yeah, it was 2011. The second half of 2011. Yep. And uh, so it, about six months after we got married, that's when we moved in with him. And he really enjoyed, he always talked about mincemeat pie. So we learned how to make that. 
I remember buying the mincemeat stuff, but better than that. I don't remember that. Buying that stuff? I think I remember buying it, but I don't remember eating it. I don't know that you and I ate it. Okay. I don't, I'm having trouble remembering. I feel like we would have tasted it, but. I don't know. But he loved apple pies and you make a mean apple pie. Oh yeah? I, and I don't follow a recipe. Oh, we are so we'll similar. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I didn't notice. Mm. But anyway. Those, those were, man, it's funny as you look back at your life and you're like, wow, life looks so different then. And then. But life... we were the same us. Oh yeah, totally. But that was part of what has shaped us. Oh yeah. Because that was pretty difficult in a lot of different ways. It was great. We wouldn't trade it for anything, but it also became more and more difficult mm -hmm. as his health declined and my health declined. So as the man we were, you know, working for basically, it was just like, we were there for about six months and that was the right amount of time. Yeah. Uh, well, and we needed to focus on Mary's health and we just had too much on our plate in terms of what our responsibilities. And you were biking to school. Oh yeah, we had one car, so I would, and Mary was working, so I would bike to the train, take the train, a few stops, and then bike to school. Crazy. I feel like I only did that a handful of times. Enough that we remember it. But I remember, like, you would pick me up, though. Yes, I like, remember that. She would come, so she I wouldn't was... bike home. Right. But... Yeah, but I'd have to go at like get get the like six thirty yeah. train or something. We are going to finish our cup of coffee. We're gonna go for a family walk. Cup of happy. Cup of happy. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Oh, look, we got up. We knew exactly what was happening. Are we ready to get ready and go for a walk? Do you think we should? Good night.